I'm Chris Green, Chief Editor at Tech Africa News, and I'd like to welcome you to today's interview with Squire Technologies. Based on the south coast of England, Squire Technologies has spent over two decades providing core network signaling solutions to CSPs and operators all over the world. Their speciality is delivering converged signaling solutions that enable operators to manage their signaling data across multi-generation networks. They're experiencing in online charging, fraud prevention, and deploying LTE networks in Africa provides them with a unique insight into the challenges faced by regional operators as the industry develops at pace. Today, we're speaking to Sanjeev Verma, CEO of Squire Technologies. Good morning, Chris. Thank you for having me. So Sanjeev, how does 5G affect the average mobile consumer in Africa? By 2025, 5G penetration in sub-Saharan Africa will be 3%. And that's GSMA's projection. This shows how little it will affect the average African consumers in the coming years. Why? Because in Africa, 50% of the population remains unconnected. That's 600 million people, mostly living in rural areas. For these mobile consumers, 5G would remain out of reach. In terms of the remaining 50% who are already connected, the question is whether benefits of 5G upgrade offsets the cost or not. And it isn't cost effective. It does provide far greater speed but very small coverage. And what's needed to connect average African mobile consumers is wider coverage, not privileged hotspots in a few metros. Okay, that's clear, Sanjeev. So we've established that 5G rollout is a little premature in the region. So what are the challenges for telecom operators going forward? The challenge is the average revenue per user remaining low. It's currently at around um, $325 uh, as compared to uh, $20 here in, in Europe. Right? There's simply raise a thin margin for operators. What every operator needs to ensure is that any investment they make is commercially sustainable. Foreign investment, while favorable, is not infinite. And the choice operators, as well as the regulators and governments in the region, must make. Is it easier to increase the ARPU by 20%, keeping the existing user base? Or is it easier to increase the user base by 20% maintaining the ARPU? In another words, another new, newer network or connecting the remaining 50% of the population? We think both. Operators cannot ignore one for the other. But it's a complex situation. Operators not only get pressure from regional governments, who are in control of awarding contracts to the investors in their economies, but also from bigger telecom vendors who they are logged in with. But ultimately, focusing on connecting the remaining 600 million potential customers will deliver the continued economic growth in the region, is our, our opinion. Okay, that's, uh, that's clear. I understand that. You have a presence in sub-Saharan Africa and have worked all over the world. What lessons have you learned from deploying your solutions that you can bring to operators in the region? We, we have uh, quite a bit of experience working uh, in the region. And we would say that it's crucial for operators to stick to the basics. Do not forget your bottom line. And the bottom line is return on investment. Operator shouldn't take on more debt without a justified return on investment because margins are under more than enough pressure from the OTT players and vendors, neither of which share the cost or the pain of network deployments, maintenance, or upgrades like the operators do. The promise of 5G is obviously attractive, but the reality, even here in the UK, is that if you stray several miles outside large urban areas, you're unlikely to get 5G on your shiny new smartphone. The county town where our headquarters is based is yet to get 5G. 
In fact, coverage remains a challenge for the industry in general. It doesn't make good business sense to borrow money and take on more debt to invest in a technology that doesn't benefit your bottom line. It simply isn't the right time for operators in the region to deploy 5G networks while the average revenue per user is so low. On top of this, several African nations, including Kenya, Namibia, Nigeria, and Zambia, have acknowledged that the cost of 5G handsets remains a challenge for 5G deployment. Bearing in mind the current global chip shortage, this isn't likely to change anytime soon either. Thanks very much for that, Sanjeev. I think you've summed it up very nicely. I would like to thank you for your time today and the information you have provided about Squire Technologies and your view on what's happening in Africa and what should happen. It seems clear to me that the dependencies that some have had on only working with larger companies has changed. And now there is significant opportunity for companies such as Squire Technologies. I'm Chris Green for Tech Africa News. Thank you for watching today's interview with Squire Technologies. And you can find more content on techafricanews.com.